In this exercise, we'll look at how we can customize and control the splash screen that is shown when our application first starts. Now, splash screens are um, used extensively in many applications. They are used for branding. They are used for hiding the fact that your application may have to go and fetch data in the background. So before showing the information to the user, you may want to temporarily show a splash screen to keep uh, the user informed that things are going on. And then when the splash screen uh, uh, is removed, at that point, your application will be ready to display its data. So uh, splash screens also provide, as I said, an opportunity to show your branding image for your application. In this exercise, we'll look at how we can make use of splash screens with our Ionic application. Now, in particular, you need to note that splash screen support in Ionic comes through Cordova. So we need to make use of Cordova and Cordova's plugins in order to support splash screens. In particular, there is a plugin called splash screen um, plugin, which we are going to make use of for customizing and controlling the splash screen on our application. When we run our application in the emulator or on a real device, you would show the uh, splash screen first before you show the initial uh, page of your application. Let's see the app running in an iOS emulator here. So I am going to uh, do Ionic em emulate iOS. And then when the emulator comes up, you would notice that the splash screen is shortly shown on the emulator before you actually go to the home screen of your application. Now, in this case, this is a generic uh, splash screen that comes with Ionic. We want to replace this generic splash screen with a specific splash screen for our application. How do we customize the splash screen? So that's the first thing that we will learn in this exercise. Now, to help us to customize the splash screen, I have provided to you um, in the instructions and the additional resources two PNG files, one for the icon and one for the splash screen called icon.png and splash.png. I would like you to download those two files and then move the files into a uh, folder called resources within your confusion folder. Here, you can see the confusion folder open in my uh, finder window. Now, um, in there, you can find this um, folder called resources. So if you go into this folder called resources, you would find these two files called icon.png and splash.png. I would like you to, um, to replace these two files with the icon.png and the splash.png files that I have provided for you. So this is the generic icon and splash screen that come with the um, Ionic application that we have scaffolded out earlier. We're going to replace that with our customized icon and splash screen. So let me move the icon and splash screen PNG files in here and then proceed to the next step. Now I have replaced the icon and the splash uh, screen uh, PNG files with the files that uh, are customized for our application. So you can, if you if you wish to, you can open the uh, icon file and see that this is the restaurant's logo that you had seen in the earlier courses. I am using that as an icon for my application. Similarly, I have designed a splash screen that is unique for our application. And so that is what I'm going to make use of within our application. Now, these are large sized um, images that I have provided for you. This uh, splash screen image, for example, is about 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. Um, the icon itself is 1024 by 1024 pixels. Now, 
when you look at um, your Ionic application, it might run on devices of different screen densities or different screen sizes and so on. So we need to be able to adapt these files for the different screen uh, sizes and densities. Fortunately, Ionic provides us with a command line tool called Ionic Resources. Now, if you supply the icon.png and splash.png, then Ionic will automatically build our app um, images of different uh, sizes for us so that a customized uh, image for the specific screen size can be used. So that the screen, um, depending on the screen size, an appropriate image size will be used. So let's go ahead and use this Ionic resources um, command line tool to build up our uh, icons for different screen densities and also our splash screen for different screen densities. To do that, go to the, your command line and then type Ionic resources at the command prompt. At the command prompt, I'm going to type Ionic resources. Now, this should be typed in your confusion folder. So your terminal should be in your confusion folder. So type Ionic resources and then let that prepare the images for the different screen sizes. When it completes its work, you would notice that it has built up images of different screen sizes. Uh, of, of different um, pixel values um, so that they can be matched to, to the specific screen sizes. Now, if you go back to the resources folder, you would notice that there are two subfolders here called Android and iOS. If you wish to, you can browse in there and then notice that you have splash screens for different screen sizes built up here. Similarly, you have the icons for different screen sizes built up here, both in Android as well as in iOS. So similarly, in iOS also, you would see that you have um, the images uh, for the splash screen built up for different screen sizes. So this is automatically done for you by the Ionic resources command. We only need to provide a standard sized image um, which for the icon is 1024 by 1024 pixels. For the splash screen, it is 2208 by 2208 pixels in size. So that is what I have provided for you. And then you have substituted and built up all this so that you have now uh, customized your splash screen. After completing the previous step, then we will go ahead and then rebuild uh, our application and then redeploy our, our application and then note that the new splash screen starts showing up on our devices screen. Let's rebuild our application. So I'm going to type in Ionic build iOS. You can similarly do this for Android too. So you can say Ionic build Android and then it'll rebuild the Android application. So uh, here I am showing this on the uh, iOS emulator. So I am rebuilding the iOS version. And then I will now emulate that on my iOS device. You would now notice that the customized new screen shows up on our uh, in our application. Also, if you go to the um, home screen, you would notice that our custom icon for our application shows up there. Let me show the same thing on Android uh, emulator also, just to convince you that this works even on Android. Let's rebuild our application for Android. So I will say Ionic build Android. Then again, add the command prompt, I will type Ionic emulate Android. Once the emulator starts up and when your app gets deployed to the emulator, you will see the splash screen even in your Android emulator. 
So you can see the uh, splash screen just showed up on the emulator and then your application's home screen comes up in the emulator. To see the new icon within our Android emulator, let's go to our emulator and then you can see that the new icon for our Confusion app actually shows up there. So this completes our first step. We have now managed to customize our splash screen for our application. So uh, we will be able to uh, make use of the new splash screen. Now, the next question that will come up in your mind is, can I control how long I want to show the splash screen? Now, the default configuration will already be there in a file called config.xml, which is in the root folder of your Confusion app. So if you go to the root folder, the Confusion folder, you would notice this file called config.xml. Inside there, some of the standard um, features of the splash screen are pre-configured there. Let's have a look at it and then we'll try to modify some of those configurations. And then we'll also see how we can control how long our splash screen will be shown on the screen by using a Cordova plugin, the splash screen plugin, to automatically control and hide the splash screen when we want to hide the splash screen. Going to our um, text editor, I'm going to open the config.xml file here. And then inside this config.xml file, there are a whole bunch of um, configurations that are set up for our Ionic application. Now, we need to be careful while touching things in here. So only make sure that you are modifying things that are really needed to be modified. Now, as you go down here, you will notice that there are two preferences here, one called splash screen value screen, and the other one says splash screen delay value 3000, meaning that your splash screen will be shown for three seconds before being dismissed. Suppose I want to explicitly control how long I want to show the splash screen. Maybe I want to have a situation where I want to keep the splash screen running until my um, uh, data is resolved from the server. Maybe I want to um, show the splash screen for a duration of time before dis dismissing the splash screen. Can I have a better way of controlling my splash screen? Fortunately, the splash screen plugin that comes with Cordova has a way of configuring a few things. I'm going to do a couple of configurations here and then see how we can explicitly control the um, duration for which you show the splash screen. In here, I'm going to use one additional preference that is supported by the splash screen plugin which I'm going to introduce and then explain to you what it does. This new preference with the name Auto Hide Splash Screen can be set to either true or false. By default, it is set to true, meaning that the splash screen will be automatically hidden after the duration specified by the splash screen delay here, which is of uh, um, value three seconds here. Now, if I don't want to automatically hide the splash screen plugin, then I can, uh, so previously you saw that this did not exist in my config.xml file. The default value is true, but now I want to set that to false. So that's why I explicitly introduced that preference into the config.xml file. And then I'm going to change this value to false. So with this change, now I have more control over how long I want to show the splash screen. Now, when I make this change, if I just leave it there and then run my app, my splash screen will be shown on the screen forever. That is exactly not what I am intending to do. I would rather want to dismiss the splash screen after a period of time. So to dismiss the splash screen, we need to make use of the Cordova plugin and especially the ng Cordova support and use that within our 
app.js file. So let me switch to app.js file and then show you the changes that I would introduce there in order to explicitly dismiss this splash screen. Now I switched to the app.js file. In the app.js file, in the Angular module, I am going to now inject the ng Cordova module in there. Now that's one point that I need to do. The second point that I need to do is in the run method, I'm going to now inject two items there. The two items that I'm going to inject is Cordova splash screen and timeout. Now the Cordova splash screen allows me to gain access to my splash screen. And this Cordova splash screen provides a function called hide, which I can call in order to hide the splash screen. The timeout value I am going to use just to control the time duration for which I'm going to show the splash screen. So after introducing these two, one additional thing that you need to remember about uh, using the ng Cordova is that you need to wait for this Ionic platform ready to be completed. Only when your Cordova is ready to accept your requests. So that is why we need to perform this operation inside the Ionic platform dot ready function. Later on also, when, when you see me using other Cordova plugins, I would always be enclosing them inside the Ionic platform uh, ready um, uh, function there. So in here, we already have a few things in there that have been already set up for us when we scaffolded out our application. Now I'm going to introduce one more function in here, which helps me to control how long I'm going to show the uh, splash screen. So here, let me introduce the code and then I'll explain to you what this code does. You now see that I have introduced this additional code into this Ionic platform ready function here, uh, which says timeout function. You have already seen timeout before. So I am specifying inside that a function with a time delay of 20 seconds. I am using a time delay of 20 seconds just to be able to show you the splash screen explicitly on the screen for a period of time. Now, obviously, you should be setting that to about two or three seconds. Later on, please go ahead and change that value to two seconds. I'm going to do that myself too. 20 seconds is too long for anybody to bear. Now, inside the function, I am calling this function called height. So I say Cordova splash screen dot height. When I call this, then the splash screen will be dismissed from the screen. With this, let me save the changes to app.js file. One additional change that we need to make is in the index.html file. Now, we have uh, downloaded the ng Cordova, and then we need to be able to inject that ng Cordova into our application. Now, I have forgotten to show you how to download ng Cordova. I'm going to show that in the next step. Now, in here, in the index.html file, right there between the ionic bundle.js where you introduce the uh, ionic bundle.js script and before where we introduce the cordova.js script. This is very important. So you need to introduce the script to include the ng cordova module here. So let me introduce the code here. So with this code, I am uh, introducing script source lib slash ng Cordova dist ng Cordova .js. So I'm including this into my index.html file between Cordova.js and then ionic bundle.js. So this is very important. The order of these is very important to uh, be done correctly introduce this script there let's save the changes now we switch to our terminal 
at the terminal, you would type bower install ng Cordova minus minus save so that that will be saved into your bower.json file. So you say bower install ng Cordova and then let bower take care of installing the ng Cordova. So after this, your application is now uh, ready uh, for using ng Cordova within your application. Now, at this point, you may wish to remove the two platforms that you added and then re-add uh, those platforms. So I'm going to first do ionic platform remove iOS. I just want to completely rebuild those two platforms. And similarly, I will say ionic platform remove Android. So this way you can remove the platforms and then rebuild the platform. So I'm going to again add the platforms back. So I have cleaned up the platforms uh, directory and then re-add them. Just, just so that the changes that I have made and um, uh, just to restart the whole thing. So uh, there's no reason for doing that. I just wanted to clean up everything and then restart afresh there. So I'm going to type in now Ionic platform add iOS and similarly I will type in Ionic platform add Android now at the command prompt let me rebuild my application with the changes that we have made so I would say ionic build iOS and then we'll deploy it to the emulator and then see the new uh, version of this application. Then I'll say ionic emulate iOS and then when the application starts running on the screen you would note that the splash screen will be shown for about 20 seconds before being dismissed. Of course, I intentionally did that just to show you what the splash screen looks like on the screen and then dismiss that. Now, after you complete this exercise, go and change the 2000, 20,000 to 2000. This is an unbearably long wait for anybody to to be able to wait for the app to be ready. I did that because I was speaking to you, so you didn't notice that 20 seconds elapsed while the splash screen was shown on the screen and then dismissed before you went to the home page. This completes this exercise. In this exercise, you have learned how to customize the splash screen for your Ionic application. You also saw the use of the Cordova splash screen plugin in order to control how long the splash screen will be shown on the screen.